Indeed, what shall we start with? Oh, welcome to the podcast. Well, right, officially out of things to say. Because we didn't plan for anything. Yeah. Which is weird. Yeah, the, the, this is the As Yet Undecided podcast. So we're As Yet Undecided about what to talk about. Yep, you can contact us at the Manus. No. <laughs> I kicked Mike in the tummy gently. So gently? Did, did it hurt? No. No, you can, because... But... He, 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 here's the part that annoys me. Yeah? Women fight... Well, friends of mine that are women... Yeah? Always have some audacity... Yeah? To provoke physical violence upon me. Really? Because yeah. we know that you won't fight back. I know, because I won't fight back. Yeah. My dude didn't exactly hurt you, did I? Did I hurt you? No. Oh, thank you. No, goodness. no, but, but, you know, the, the, there is countless examples. Yeah. And I'm like, man. Why? If, if, if you guys want gender equality, well, <laughs> you know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, what's, what have they done to you? Uh, just the usual punch in the arm, kick in the, stu- uh, kick in the tummy. <laughs> yeah. Kick, kick, kick in the jewels. Yeah. <laughs> kick all, in the jewels, really? Yeah, Doesn't that it, hurt? It's all part and parcel, really. Oh, man, uh, it's painful. Yeah. Uh, of, of course it hurts. But in saying that, I would rather have a kick in the, kick in the jewels than a catheter up there. <laughs> yeah, personal experience? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, like, well, well, let's just say, it is exactly what you think it is. Yeah. At least you had a male doctor do it to you. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was weird. Yeah. What? Just the whole sticking a straw up there. Yeah, by a fellow member of your own species. No, well, yeah, well, it didn't matter who it was. You wouldn't, well, you wouldn't mind if a female doctor did it? Uh, it didn't matter. Okay. It didn't matter. But it was just like the whole fact that it was a straw. Yeah. Being shoved up there. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, this is exactly how <laughs> how how I thought it was going to feel like. <laughs> I'm like, oh. It just felt so weird. And, and, and I do not... <laughs> You, you know, you have to give credit to people that go go ahead with it. Yeah, including yourself. Oh. And I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> <sighs> it's like getting 18 stitches in your eye. Mm. Except you had anaesthetic for that. Oh, yeah. Well, I was just wondering why they didn't put anaesthetic for your catheter. Oh, uh, yeah. They, 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 they did do the whole nubbing treatment, but that's about it. Uh. Um, now, there was a disgusting article that, that I wrote, and I was like, huh? It was about a, a, a model yeah. that decided to get her cornea tattooed. Yeah. And I'm like... You know what's going to happen, right? What, what, right? What's going to happen? Her eye would be screwed. Yeah. Yeah. There's been people, I mean, she's not the only person to do that. I know, and the part that annoys me the most is that she would have asked for self-verification from somebody. Yeah. And she would have said, oh yeah, you could do it, would be neat. Oh. Yeah. That's the part that annoys me the most. It's like... It's not that she had a stupid idea, but rather people agreed to a stupid idea. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, you said that your favourite anime is coming out soon, in the next week or so. Yeah, next week. Next week. Next week, next, next, next Monday. Can you please explain why a, a, a cosplaying hamster girl became so popular? <laughs> I mean, I got you the blanket. Yeah, I know. Can you, but can you please explain why you wanted the blanket? <laughs> but well, it, it's it's not it's it's not there that I wanted the blanket. Mm-hmm. It's it, it's that I I liked that show purely b- b- because of the interaction. It was great. Yeah. 
and, and, and like you know, I, I showed you a bit of it, and you were so enthralled by my enthusiasm of it. Yeah. That you decided to get me the blanket. Yeah. 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 Does that make sense? Yes. It's just like your birthday present. Yeah. Which was. Yeah, that was so cool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Does that blanket still fit you? It still does. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, mind your blankets are usually one size fits all, right? Yeah. 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 But that's more of a cape than a blanket. Was it? Was it helpful during the winter evenings? Uh, once or twice, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Um. Yeah, that's coming back next week. Yeah. Um, so, what are the plot lines? What are the what are the plot arcs of such an anime? Like, oh, okay. Is it character development? Does the hamster girl become more mature or less mature? Uh, no, no. Does she turn to a natural hamster? No, no. It's going to be interactions between her and her um, rival. Who is? Oh, it's her, her name is like Silver Thought. It's Sylvie Floyd something. It's like, Which means? No, no, no. no that, that's her name. Is like she, she, she's very positive, very. Oh, I wouldn't say arrogant. Yeah. But very in your face. Yeah. And, and she she competes for everything, what? constantly. Why why are they competing? No, no, well, 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 you know, the hamster one isn't really competing, but the other one is. Yeah. Because she wants to be number one in everything. Yeah. And if not, she's going to spiral into some sort of depression. And what's the hamster girl good at? Hamster girl is pretty much good at everything. Wait, somehow she doesn't do it. She plays video games all day, needs uh, snacks, and yet she's like thin, popular, good at everything. Yeah. Isn't that a little bit unrealistic? Is she like a Mary oh, yeah. Sue? Yeah, yeah. Is she a Mary Sue? Yeah. But why, why is it still a good show? Is it? Is it? Is it? Are the interactions funny? Yeah, the interactions are hilarious. Is she a goddess? Oh well, well, men that want to consider her to be a goddess. Well, she could be a goddess. Yeah. Because she it seems to do impossible things all the time. Um, and the interaction between the brother and her. Yeah. Are just going to carry on. The brother is like, how on earth are you doing? How are you, how are you being so good at all of these things? You just do nothing all day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Exactly, and, and you can see the differences in persona yeah. by the height differences. Yeah. Or putting on the cloak. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the interaction between the brother and the downstall's neighbour. Yeah. Who suffers from social anxiety. Aww. And you can see some sort of chemistry there. Oh, yeah. Um, and, the, and the rest of the classmates. Am I a little bit like her? Uh, nah. Nah, I don't think so. Why not? Because you're not overly... Overly enthralled in the lazy persona. Oh, uh, yeah. So I'm not lazy enough to be her. Yeah. It's like as, as soon as you get home from uni... Yeah. You basically just take everything off, put on your comfortable clothes on, yeah. grab a packet of chips and a, and a large Coke and just play games and watch movies and just sit do that all the time. I don't do that. You therefore don't I'm not do her. That. I don't, therefore I'm not her. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. How is she so good at everything? I don't know. Uh, it's just for comedy, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's for comedy's sake. Yeah. And then you asked me about when Yuri and Ice is coming back. Yeah, because it's like the only anime I watch. Yeah. Because I'm because I'm I'm too busy and too interested in other things. I've got portal to, I've got portal turrets to make. I've got Sherlock to analyze and I've got games to play. Yeah. So, and I've got Kate. I've got homework to do. Yeah. So it's like ah, I just have to you know pick and choose the best of the lot. Yeah. Yeah. And then we back November. November, just in time for exams. But mind you, this afterwards it's December. They'll have all the time in the world to watch it and analyze it. Yeah, which would be great. Yeah. The yeah the well I I, can, I think it's going to be the whole majors time that they yeah that they skipped out uh, skipped on on the first season. 
Ah, so um, the major thing was a minor thing. No, you because because they went because Yuri in the first season. Which you won? Hey. Which one? Yuri, not Yurio. All oh, right. Right. Had to start from the. Had to go through the um, Delavan Mental Circuit. Yeah. And actually had to go in the last major to qualify for the top six. Right. Right. And all the rest of them went through all the rest of the majors at the start. Right. To qualify for the top six. Right. Now with this season. Yeah. It's going to be all of them in the in that circuit. Welcome to the rat race. Pretty much. That's that's how it's going to go. Okay. You said that's been, you said that you won't see you won't think your and nice will last more than what, four se- Super Bowl series? And I predict five? Yeah, but yeah, it can go for five. Yeah. But you know, you know, my prediction and your prediction are, are slightly different. Yeah, like by one se- by one series. Yeah. Yeah. So why four? Do you think for you? Um. Because. Like, because because of the construct of the season. Oh yeah. Like I think because Yuri because Yurio won. Yeah. Right, and Yuri came second by the smallest of margins. Yeah. Right. And Victor said he's coming back. Yeah. And they're going to work together. Apart. Apart. So they're going to be like, um, you know the people who meet each other during during work? Yeah. Yeah, like uh, spouses they meet during work. Yeah. Yeah, they live like that. Yeah, so, that, so that'll happen. Uh, Yuri will, will win yeah. this year. Yeah. But only because Victor's dog will die. Because Machi Chan, Mach, Mach, uh, however you say it. Yeah. However you say it. it he's very old, um, what, 15, 16? Yeah, because, yeah. because he almost died this in the first season. Choking. Hazards. Choking. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, they'll, they will have a dab. At means doubles. Hey, isn't that uh, what skates? Yep. The balls of steel? No, not balls of steel. Balls of fury. No, not balls of fury. No, we're not talking. To, we're not talking about WWE here. Oh, good. The skates of fury or something rather. What's that film? <laughs> <laughs> another, another one that you want to have? Good grief! What's the means doubles? Skates, yep. what's it called? The, what's it the, called? the one with Luke Wilson and Will yeah. Ferrell. Yeah. Blades of Glory. Blades of Glory! That's it! Oh, goodness, if I had to eat it, that, so it seems like a huge um, amplitude gain over there. Blades yeah. of Glory. Yep, and th- that was taken... Except it would be like a more romantic and serious version of it. Now, that was also um, put in, into a, into a um, song I do like. What? Um... It, it uh, injures in Paris. Really? By Jay Z and Kanye West. Really? Yeah. Jay Z and Kanye West. Yeah. yeah. Mm. A, a snippet of Blades and Glory was inserted right in the middle of that song. Really? <laughs> and, and, I, and I'll play it for you at the end of it. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so they're going to do like a Blades of Glory, except a bit more serious about the romance side. Uh, <sighs> and I think that. So that's series two. Yeah, that's series two, and I and I would think series three. What do you think? Um, Yuri will get with Maria. Was that the Russian? No, 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 no. It was. Um, it's the ska- It's the other skater's sister. All oh, right. <coughs> yeah. And Yuri might get beat up, beaten up. Oh well, no, he won't get beaten up. You know, the the. the you, you, you can see the potential yeah. of conflict there. As we've seen it, Sophie just did the young Nat dance. The Macarena. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, it's, I think it's just the Hakarina. The, the, the Macarena? The Hakarina. Now. Um, so that's series three. Yeah, but, but you know, and, and at the end of it, Victor wins. Yuri's happy with it. Yeah. And they roll into the sunset. Yeah. On a motorbike. Yeah. 
They see me rolling. They hate it. No, yeah, yeah, but you know, <laughs> I, I do like that KFC commercial. Right, uh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I don't watch commercials. Okay, because yeah, um, KFC have a new commercial out, KFC New Zealand. Yeah. Where um, it, it's a drive through counter. Does right? it fly? Let me explain. Yeah. She, she, you know, you know, you know, she's out there with the order, opens up the window, goes out the order, and she has a strange, strange look. Yeah. And it's a whole bunch of old ladies in mobility scooters <laughs> rolling around with their quarter packs with that song playing in the background. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, that's... The geriatrics can be so cool, right? Yeah, and, uh, and like, it's, it's kind of sad that Chameleon Air has stumped so low... Yeah. To put to get his check, yeah, from you know KFC New Zealand. <laughs> That's not long. Yeah, but you but you think about it, you, you, you know, you know, you, you know, people think that the rappers and now they're just putting in songs for ads there. That's always happened. Yeah, I know, but it's just a, it's a way just to get another check. Oh. So he thinks he's a gold digger now. Yes, yes. I'm very sorry. That's the integrity of artists are compromised by the fact that they need to eat. Yes. <laughs> e- e- even though they earned millions and millions. Yeah. Now, now the you know it's about first of the month now getting their welfare checks. Yeah. And the royalties aren't big enough. No, not anymore. Not anymore. Well, somehow they have to fund all their side women. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Oh, I had to quickly think of a word that wouldn't get us kicked out. Now, because we are in the YWCA, you know. Now, now, what do, what do you think of the whole block NZ situation? Which is the the winners of the block NZ. Yeah. They they got a hundred and thirty one thousand dollars, mm. and they said that it wasn't enough. For twelve weeks work. How they, many hours? How many hours a week? Week do they do? Work do they do it per day? They probably did about twenty. Do they have to pay for the materials? No. 20, 20 hours a week, work a week. Yeah. For twelve weeks. Yeah. Do you have a calculator handy? Well, there's twenty four hundred hours. Twenty four hundred hours, and um, what? The, the, that's about a year and a quarter. Yeah. Of normal forty hours a week work yeah and they got a hundred and thirty one thousand for it yeah how many how many of what does that work out to be per hour well because it is the two of them yep so it's about 25 uh, 30 dollars an hour yeah and they think it was not enough 30 dollars an hour yeah that's a little above minimum wage yeah yeah that's all. That's twice. Just, just under twice. Just under twice. Yeah. What's minimum wage? Fifteen. Fifteen seventy-five. Okay, so they're getting about thirty dollars an hour. Yeah. Do you think that is enough? I'm not too sure. For twelve weeks' work. I don't know. Hmm. Could be twelve weeks of back-breaking work, and that wouldn't be enough. Yep. But you know, twelve weeks getting one hundred thirty-one thousand dollars. But they do put a lot of work into it, though. Yeah. Yeah, so... I don't watch the blocks, and therefore I can't judge. Yeah. And, and, like, and, and they even got to the extent of doing... Uh, the, the other teams, Yeah. they got far less. Yeah? We're putting up uh, given little pages. Aww. Yeah. I guess it's like, we're not getting enough money from this. Yeah. So, yeah. And, uh, and I was like, what... You, you know, you know, give a little pages. We're, we're, we're usually for people that want to do things or for charities for a good cause. Or to pay for cancer treatments. Yes, rather than any sort of personal wealth gain. Yeah, like, I want some more money. Yeah, and I'm like, should I actually put a give a little page so I can get my glasses? Well, you do have a health problem and the glasses are necessary. Yes. Why not give it a try? Yeah. Well, well, exactly. But you know, or you know, the potential backlash. Yeah. From it, and I'm just like, I just can't be bothered. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. 
and you, you, you know all of those sort of advertising loopholes yeah. that people exploit. Say like with the Kardashian situation at the moment, where the um, the CDC. Oh, uh, where's it? No, no. What's oh, what's the agency again? One of the U.S. agencies yes. is looking into their case. So, of? um, because like our consumer, yeah, laws, but the U.S. equivalent, yeah, um, because they are putting in in their Instagram where they have been paid to advertise for an item, yeah. But they haven't put hashtag ad in the photos. Really? Do you have to do that? Yes, you have to do that. Didn't know that. Yeah. Because if you don't do that, yeah. you are creating a internal bias. And you're exploiting the internal bias. Oh. Yes. So, like, I, you know, if you are genuine in saying that you like something yes then it's fine but if you're getting paid to like something yeah so what's so important about the hashtag ad do they just say that it is an advertisement oh yeah for this particular item i thought they made it quite clear it was an advertisement yeah but they haven't they haven't made it clear they, they didn't make it clear oh that's bad so what that you know they got given a warning for the first time yeah but now what they're doing now is that they're putting it in and then 24 hours later, yeah. after the engagement is off, yes. then editing their post and putting the hashtag ad on it. So it's automatically misleading the prime time for engagement. Really? Yeah. Why would they do that? I don't know. Oh, well, some people are not as transparent as, they, as we are. Kardashians are like... They have lots of secrets, don't they? Well, 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 you know, and saying that, oh, no, 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 that's a bad taste joke. What? That's a, that, that's a bad taste joke. Like, um, Peter Jackson's film? No, 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 no. No, honestly, wasn't there a Peter Jackson film called, like, Bad Taste or something or other? No, you, you, but, but I was talking the, um, about the Netflix show with, uh, Jeffrey Tambor that, um, got an Emmy. I don't just get it. Well, you know, you know, you, you know, you know, the Jenners have a transparent. Yeah. Yeah, that was the pun joke. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mhm. Anyway, the Kardashians. They, I don't think they're quite what they say they are. I think they might be robots. Might be robots. I think they're robots. Okay. Okay. Um. What, what about androids? No, no, that's for the men. The guy, the men are androids. The women are gynoids. Gynoids? You ever heard of that term? No, I have not heard of that term. Gynoid is basically a female android. An android um, comes from you know, and andro, which is like Greek for men. Guy. Ah. Gynoid. From, well, gynoid. From like G Y N. That's like the prefix for Greek for women. Ah. So you have android, which are like male robots, and gynoid, which are female robots. So I, I, I so are you saying? Are you implying yeah. that after Android 26, yeah. so we'll go back to Gynoid 1.0? Yeah. Possibly. We named after feminine sweets. Yes. <laughs> or, or, or after shades of lip balm. Or shades of grey. Oh, too far. <laughs> too far. Fair. 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 But too far. <laughs> now... But but uh, in saying that, because we have to talk about the latest and greatest of technologies. Yes. And considering that it is a stickling point with you and converting me to the white, white ways. Of? Of neoliberal, neoliberal upper class mentalities. How am I doing that? I'm turning into a champagne socialist, not a... What? Yeah. I thought I was turning into, turning into a champagne socialist, not whatever you just said. Neoclassical uh, 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 liberalist. Uh, 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 okay, okay, because you want me to become a champagne socialist. Yes. And, and you always maintain with me... Yeah. ...that it is better to get the most expensive thing... 
No, highest quality thing. Highest quality thing, regardless of how much money it costs. Yeah, if you can, that is. If I can. Mm -hmm. Right? So, I beg the question. Since you have an iPhone 6, yeah. will you be upgrading to the 8 or the 10? No. Why not? It's still running. It's still running. That's why I get high quality things, so it can still run. Okay. So, what if I broke it? I don't think about moving over to Android now, so... The, um, the Google phones, the Google Nexus phones, they look pretty cool. Oh, the Nexus and the Pixel and the... Yeah, the Pixel ones, yeah. Yeah. Point of the matter is, you get high quality things so that they actually last, so that's better for the environment. And, and for me, I work the complete opposite. Yeah, you buy lots of crappy ass things. Hey, 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 hey. I won't say crappy. Yeah. You think it's crappy. Yeah. It's me, uh, me thinking I'm being highly efficient with my money. It's not, you're not being efficient with your money if you're buying like 10, buying like 10 phones in a year. Yeah but, yeah, but I'm not buying 10 phones in a year. No. no. The thing is with you, is just like, you, when you buy crap things, you have to buy them often, and in the long run, it's actually more expensive for you. Yeah, but for me, it's not that expensive in no, the long run. But because, because I don't have the available cash capital. No. <laughs> what makes you think I'm turning you into a neoliberalist anyway? I'm turning to a champagne socialist, which is quite a different thing. Yeah, but one, where's the champagne? Oh, no, sorry. Dad's got that, doesn't he? No, well, wait a minute. Are you get to, uh, are you to turn to a champagne socialist or a chardonnay socialist? I can't really decide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll go with a chardonnay socialist. Yeah, but I'm turning you into a chardonnay socialist, not a neoliberalist. Yeah. Get your facts right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's that's Sophie's term for telling me off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah facts, right? Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather be a neoliberalist or champagne socialist? Uh, I'll, I'll rather be a uh, a country wine socialist. A country wine socialist, like um, Chardonnay socialist. No, 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 it only comes in a cask. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those boxes. Of Those dis- boxes. Yeah, the wine's disgusting because they're in like, plastic pouches and the plastic leaks into the wine. Yep. Why would you even have those? <laughs> I don't know. They're disgusting. I don't know, but, you, you know, you know, we, we used to own, we used to work and own the Foursquare. Yeah. So many people would go for the boxed wine. Ew. Yeah. They have glasses for a reason, guys. <sighs> I just laugh at it. I just... Yeah, it's like, oh, this is the cheapest wine we can get. Like, this is the way we can look so sophisticated without being sophisticated. Yeah. Like, the time when, you, when your mum's friend wants blue cheese. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Yeah. That blue cheese joke was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Blue cheese? Um, what's up with blue cheese? Like, the ones with the... Like, the, ones with the Veins? No, 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 no. The ones that come in the blue packet. <laughs> oh, that, that still cracks me up. <laughs> yeah. And, I, and, I, and I'll probably be seeing her in about three weeks anyway. Yeah. Because she'll be there for the birthday as well. Of your niece. Yeah, of my niece. Yeah. Yeah. How old will she be turning? Five? Four. 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 Yeah. Goes to primary school twice a week already. Is she a smart kid? She's onto it. Yeah. I'm not sure about book smart. Yeah. But she's onto it. She's like your sister, isn't she? Yeah. And where is your nephew's more like you? Yeah. That's freaky. Yeah, but yeah, it, it, it's it's so uncanny. Yeah. That any sort of coincidence goes out the window. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the most uh, you and What's his sister's name, Laura? What's the yeah. most you and Laura thing that those two done so far? <sighs> Cody and Stella. Yeah. What's the most What's the most Mike and Laura thing that <laughs> Cody and Stella has ever done so far? Oh, there's so many. There's, go, there, go, go, go. There is so many. Oh. I, th- I think it's the whole game thing and, and they always want to turn. I was just like, no, I'm playing it now. You can have it turn later. And it's, it's like, you know, and you know, he'll hand it to her and go, I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Did you two do that when you're younger? Yeah, because I got a Sega Master System when I was a kid. Yeah. And that's how usually how it went. 
And except, instead of Sega Master System, it's now like an Xbox 360. Yeah. Oh, so just technology's changed. Yeah. Interactions haven't. Yeah. Anything else they've done? Oh, you, you know, you know, you look at their physical appearance. Oh yeah. And you can just tell. Uh, oh my goodness, Cody's going to lose his hair in his mid twenties. You're going bad. <laughs> You're going bad. Oh no. <laughs> But, but like you know thank you genetics thank you yeah but i think when i actually get glasses yeah he'll be more accepting of him wearing glasses oh yeah that's always important yeah so like if i if i wear it then it'll be more socially acceptable yeah hey which glasses have you chosen so far i really like the one i really like the byron one you know the blue with the candy stripe yeah well, well, well that's the plan yeah which one do you like the, the most yeah, I did like the Byron. Yeah, but you chose something else. You want something? No, no, but the, you know, you know, you know, I, I do, I don't like. Oh, well, if I had to do a prefer, it would be that one. Yeah. But I just wish it was it was slightly bigger. Slightly bigger. Well, you don't know. Maybe it's bigger, and you when you get to the shop. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. But I'm just like okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it could be the smallest glasses you've ever seen designed for an elf. So I don't know. Yeah. No, seriously though, you don't you don't really know what glasses are going to be like on your face until you try them on. True that. Yeah. I mean serious I mean seriously, it took me like it took me as well half an hour to choose choose this pair. Yeah. Yeah. High quality yeah. high high quality thirty minutes. Mm, yes. Yeah. Marish Aura. So is, is that your f okay, how many pairs of glasses have you had? I have have I had? Have you have you had? I think this is my fourth pair. And when, when, when did you start wearing glasses? Since before I was, before I was born. <laughs> Blind from the womb. Blind from the womb. <laughs> yes. Yes, this podcast is brought to you by the new fragrance, Blind from the Womb. The new fragrance from Britney Spears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Britney, which. Yeah. <laughs> Because I, cause I have, I had two pairs and this will be my third. Yeah. And you guys have a fourth. Hopefully we can get you, we can get you your, your Oakleys. Yeah. The Oakleys ones look really cool. Yeah. Yeah. They do look really cool. Um, the, yeah, the Oakleys, the ones I want to get, the technically cycling glasses. Yeah. But because of my photosensitivity. Yeah. Those glasses would be perfect um, on a hot summer's day. Yeah. You have to lose some weight, though, to make them look extra cool. Man, what's with everyone in wanting... Oh, man. I just got out of the hospital a month ago. Yeah? And my doctor... You know, I am... I am... <laughs> I, I, I am doing this, you know, you know. Yeah? Outside of my ophthalmologist requests. Yeah? I have been pressured... Yeah. By multiple people. Yeah. To go to the gym. Yeah. Yeah. Because we worry about you. Yeah, I know. We're wondering if your heart's going to give out. Oh, speaking of that. Yeah. Okay. I found out, you, you know, you know, going through all of the processes with the eye. Yeah. I figured out what happened. What? Um, pretty much, there was so much pressure. Yeah. In the back nerve, on the optic nerve, yeah. Um, let's just say that a normal eye, the pressure in a normal eye is about five psi. Yeah. It was forty six. <laughs> That's why you were blind. Well, well, that had so much pressure. Yeah. That it just blew the cornea out. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> like a balloon. Like a balloon. Wow. That's true. Poof. Oh man, that's disgusting. Yeah, and I found that out when I was put on those um, drugs that made me all like, oh, all crazy. Oh really? Oh no, it was like, but no, 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 like not mentally crazy, but body crazy. Yeah. I was like getting like pins and needles everywhere, numbing this on my face. <laughs> It was like, man, I wish I was on these pills all the time, yeah. rather than the antidepressants, because these are pretty sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you were high the whole time? Oh, I, w I wouldn't call that high. Yeah. 
But I'm just like, I like the sensation. Oh, man. I can feel something for once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I said before, it, like, it felt like having Carla. Yeah? Yeah, it's, it, it was a similar sensation. But I'm like, oh, man, I wish I could have this all the time. Why couldn't you have it all the time? No, it's because uh, uh, it has some side effects. Ah, uh, such as? Oh, I, I wouldn't want to go through it. Um, you don't float off into outer space? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the way that it mixed with a drug that I was on before, yeah, the chemo, yes, it actually nullified the effects of the chemo. Oh man! Which, which makes me believe that the pressure was due to the chemo. Oh, uh, that's complicated. Yeah. That over time. Yeah. Yeah. The pressure just built up. So it doesn't mean you need to have like a tap on your eye now to just drain the liquid from time to time? No. Oh, that's good. No, um, because I'm on such a regular pattern now. Yeah? That if my eye pressure was above 15 PSI, yeah. I was being be put on those pills for four days and everything will drop back to normal. So they're going to test your eye now for you, for the pressure? No, but because like when you are at an ophthalmologist, yeah. you go through a... A letter test. Yeah. You know how those go. Yeah. And you go through... A, a, B... I think that's a F? Yeah. Is that an E or an F? Yeah. Yeah. And, and then you go through an eye pressure test. Yeah. So then, you, you know, when you go to an ophthalmologist and, you, you know, you go across the machine... Yeah. And it um, spritz air at your eye? Didn't, never had that. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, it's, it's like a little jet of air... Yeah. ...goes into your eye... That's testing your air, your eye pressure. So they're testing it out like a t- car tire. Yeah. You have car tires for eyes, and no wonder you're blind. <laughs> yeah. So so that's how it usually goes. Cool beans. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. So you know, I still I still have to go through the regular tests that I have to do with um, being on methotrexate for six years. Yeah. So, um, I've, I've actually got the paperwork for January already here, ready to go. Congrats. Oh, no, I mean, like, to go through for another blood test. Oh. Hey, last time you went to a blood test, you went to Lawn Street. Yes, that's right. I couldn't believe it. That's right. What? How fancy was the waiting room? Did you have free coffee? No. How fancy? Do you have, like, leather couches? Okay, uh, uh, okay. You have to explain Lawn Street to me. Okay. Because, like, if you don't know, Lawn Street is, like... One of the fanciest streets in Auckland. There, there are basically shop, like chic cafes, <laughs> designer stores. Yeah, 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 and the problem is, and the doctor's probably like a hundred dollars an hour. And the funny part is, yeah, is that she's saying this now. Yeah. But when I tell her exactly where it is, yeah, you're gonna go. Ugh. Go. Okay. Yeah. You you know when you go from Lawn Street to Queen Street. Yeah. And you go you go down the escalator. You can't remember. I, I, you mean High Street, right? Yeah, when you go from High Street to Queen Street. Yeah. You go down that lift, yeah? Yeah. You go down the escalator. Yeah. It's right there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's still not too bad. Yeah, no. That's like, that's still like doctors have dollars an hour and you get leather couches and things like that. Yeah. And, and I proceeded to tell her. Yeah. That the, re- the reason why, you, you know, people do blood tests there. Yeah. So, like, if they're working in the city and they need to do it during their lunch break? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? So, so. They, they, they just go to the blood test place, get the blood test, go back to work. It's just a normal normal place and they did do a tech upgrade. Yeah? Which was great. Um, so everything's done off uh, ID system and printouts and... Nice. All that sort of stuff, which is great. So what's the blood test for? Um, liver function. And is your liver alright? Uh, it's a little bit elevated, um, but that's about about average. Yeah. For 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 what I've gone through and what I currently am. Oh um, man. But not enough to warrant a gastro appointment. You go to the specialist. It's not high enough. Oh, okay. Man, aren't you a walking bag of trouble? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I am a walking. I am a walking bag. Of the medical procedures. That's what I am. Yeah. 
And yet, I, you know, if it does get that elevated, I'll just have to go for another fiber scan. And they would just notice that the scarring is there. It's not really nothing to, you know, worry about. It's almost as if you drank a lot of vodka since you're a child. Oh, well, not that much. It'd be like a multiple month bender, perhaps. <laughs> Oh man, I want to see the liver. I want to see the liver dissections of a Russian. I would want to see a. I would want to see a liver biopsy of your dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about liver biopsy of um, Hugh Kevner? Do you think he take? Do you think he's taking a lot of drugs? I mean, it's going to be better if he lived to nine to his nineties, but I sometimes have to wonder. Between all the sex drugs and rock and roll of his younger years, I wonder what his liver looks like now. Well, considering the end, he didn't actually own his own house. No, he rented it out. No, he had it rented. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, we're going to give you this much for it. Yeah. But I have to live in that house till I die. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I've read about that. So it's. What? Whose liver biopsy would you like? Uh, I would want Tom Petty's. The one, yeah, he died today. Yeah. Of a heart attack. Yeah. Which could have been caused by... Dun, 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 dun. We don't know yet. Yeah, we don't know yet. Mm. It's still fresh news. Yeah, it's yeah, it's about as fresh as a liver biopsy. Yeah, anyway, he's supposed to, anyway, today he broke a lot of hearts. Yes. Which kind of makes sense, considering what his band name is. Yes, that's yeah. right. Yeah. And, and he'll be free-falling now. <laughs> yes. Free-falling to... Somewhere. Can you free-fall up? I don't know. No, because I remember a good old song. Uh, was it, I, 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 yeah, well, I, I, uh, I forgot what it is now. Because I'm free. Free-falling. Didn't, didn't he... In the Heartbreaker sing that song... Um, I got my heart set on you, or is it another band? I'm not too sure. That's okay. Hey, um, have I told you about the time I learnt, when I was a kid, I was learnt, I learnt about um, atmospheric pressures and thinking that heaven was in the clouds? <laughs> have I, yeah, I've told you, right? Have I told the podcast? You haven't told the podcast, but please. Why don't you tell it? Why don't you tell it? Yeah, no, 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 no. You are, you are the person. Okay. When I was nine years old, I was learning about atmospheric pressures and all the, for the first time. So you know how um, atmos- how the air is thicker down on the bottom than it's thinner up on top. Yes. And at the time, I also naively thought that heaven was in the clouds. Yes. And also knew, also figured out that the thinner the air, the less it can support. Therefore, thin people go to the top levels of heaven, and fat people go to the bottom. Levels of heaven, because um, you know the bottom levels of heaven had like thicker clouds and even more support. Then I told Dad, who was at that time much bigger than me, and I told him that he's going to go to lower level heaven because you know that's the only way that heaven can support his weight. <sighs> yes. Lower level heaven, yeah. So Dad still teases me about it to this day. Even though I was like, I was like, what? 11 years ago, but it was more than a decade ago, but, you know, I was like, guess show how what I was like when I was 9 years old. Yeah, do you have to go to lower level heaven? Yeah, and me, when I was 9, I was learning algebra. Yeah. <laughs> so, I was learning the sciences, he was learning mathematics. Yes. Yeah, so... <laughs> so oh, man. Yeah, I was 9 doing year 7 maths. Yeah, so you were 2 years ahead. Yeah. Um... Oh man, that was hilarious. I mean, <laughs> do you think it's still going to level level heaven? How much does a soul weigh, Sophie? Oh, I don't know. Your shoe soles are about five hundred grams. Maybe yeah, because um, these soles are about five hundred grams. I think they say, and this is the reason why the movie was made. Yeah. They say that a soul weighs twenty three grams. Why? Because that's the difference in weigh and weight. Between by the time that you live, yeah. By the time that you die, oh really? You lose exactly twenty three grams. Where where do they go? Just breathe out. Or? More than likely, it's a breathe out. Yeah. 
we can say that the soul escapes through the mouth. Between the grams. Yes. And um, my dad always has this thing that he wants to keep his eyes. Yeah. Because he believes that the soul yeah. is in the eyes. Ah. Oh. Therefore, your soul's corrupted. Yes. That's why he hates you. <laughs> Yes, yes, I, I, I am corrupted by another person. Me? No, I was talking about the donor. Oh! <laughs> so, you, so you got two souls right at this moment. Yeah, you, 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 you're one and a partial. Yeah. Well, I have a partial soul. Yeah, one and one-fifth of a soul. Yeah, we'll go with that. So, uh, what's, what sort of person was... What sort of person was it that donated you the, your... your I, I, saw him, I saw him, didn't ask. Well, evidently they were generous. Yes. That's all we know. Tick the box. Yeah, tick the box of generosity. That's always a good trait to have. Yes. And on that bombshell... Ah, uh, we still need to talk about Euro Nice. No, no. We but, forgot. That's okay. Okay, let's, before no, no, we do... No, 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 we talked about Euro Nice. No, I just want to ask you a question before we go. Okay. Why is Euro Nice so popular? No, no because... The current Olympic champion in males figure skating. Yeah. His name is Yuri. What? So you're saying that it's only popular not because of the storytelling or the artistic skills or the accuracy of the skating, but because of a product placement, a name placement? Pretty much. That's disappointing. Yeah, but you, but you know, you know, that's not until the, you know, that's the initial engagement. Oh, so they came for the namesake and they stayed for the anime. Yeah. Okay. And uh, also one more question. Porter Robertson's Shelter, the music video, is that anime? I think so. The, the animation style is. Anime. But yeah. because of the animation studio that did it. Yeah, A1. Because, yeah. I, I, I see how people will not say that it is. Because it's a music video, not an anime. Yes. So they, that's the most common complaint. It's like, it's not an anime, it's just too short. Yeah. Yeah, so. But, you, but like, you can say that um, the music video One More Time by Daft Punk Yeah. had very much anime-ish elements. Anime-esque. Yes, esque. Anime-esque, yeah. Esque. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, what's his anime? What's his life? What's his death? To me or not to me? And on, and on that Shakespearean bombshell. Yes. Uh, just don't pop off your mortal coil. That's not a fashionable thing to do these days. In fact, this is what's fashionable. Contacting us on AYU Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of corrected, corrected eyeballs... You can use your contact lens to contact me. Yeah. On at the Marlins, T H E M A I N U S. Yes, unfortunately, I've heard that the augmented reality uh, technology is compact enough to fit into con- corneas these days. Also, I've heard. Anyway, um, if you wish to contact me and to discuss uh, Shakespearean ways to muse about your life, I am on at Sophie nine seven zero nine. Also, I've heard the other day that. Um, a guy from Christchurch has adapted uh, sh- the Shakespeare has adapted Hamlet into a video game on stage. Huh. So this is what's happened. He made Hamlet into like a video game, and he decided to put that adaptation onto a stage. It's it's, it's currently touring around Auckland now. And, and and on that note, be like the beast of two backs and have a good week. Yes, and don't throw away any pearls too too value too precious for you to comprehend. <laughs> <laughs>